It is week two of the 300 hour yoga teacher training. Yesterday, Sunday, was kind of the only day that we would have had a break throughout this whole training. And for the next 14 days, I will be training non-stop. I am first so grateful still to just be here. So many things are happening every day and I'm just taking everything in and just trying to stay sane and not go crazy. <laughs> also just trying to stay present here in the moment because it's very easy to allow my thoughts and my mind to go far off into the unknown future. Many things have been coming to me, many realizations, many dreams, many goals, lots of things just to work on, which is nice. It's like there's things in the future for me. I have learned a lot about myself, learned a lot about the things that I value and that I care about and maybe even want to do with my future. So that is nice. It's nice to get a little confirmation about the thoughts that you've had in your mind about what you want to do in the present. <laughs> so it kind of keeps you on track. The people here are also really nice. I'm starting to get to know some of my training mates. I don't know really. I feel like I'm getting older. <laughs> This morning I knew we had a talk and I was like super excited about today but kind of midday I lost that enthusiasm I can't really tell you exactly what happened but like kind of like as soon as I was like getting into it <laughs> something happened and made me just not like my mind just did a complete 360 turn and I don't even know where I went but lately I've been having a hard time explaining the way that I feel or explaining anything really like I kind of don't want to good morning today is day seven yes yes today we will feel good so we just finished our first class today and I am just so grateful that Madly taught this class today. Our original teacher, Yane, has left and he was a wonderful teacher so today i was like really concerned about how this was going to go because our other teacher yani is very for me kind of abstract and i try to grasp you know what he's teaching us but i don't always get it so today with masley we really kind of broke everything down like the bandhas ha and da and we got into two specific ones, the knee banda and the hip banda. And I feel like I understand it to the T. Like, I just feel like I get it. And I don't know if you have ever had this feeling. I'm sure we all have. When you just, like, get something and you just understand, it just feels so good. And, like, I can tell right now, even with the relationship that I'm having with you right now as I'm talking, is, like, I just feel, like, just confident feel like I know and so 
yeah, like, I'm just feeling really good right now. But then also, um, in the midst of all that, I also realized something about myself, and I was explaining it to one of my mates here with me, is that I'm just so passive, and I've always been so passive, and a part of me kind of took pride in being, like, passive and, like, saying, like, oh, I'm so nonchalant, but it kind of is my downfall <laughs> at the same time because there's so much that I know and there's so much that I have done, but I don't always apply those things, and that can hurt and hinder me, especially when it comes to understanding certain things because I'm not taking myself to that place, like, I'm not allowing myself to go there even though I could and so I think that's something that I'm going to work on taking myself to my limit taking myself to that point and then being able to expand from there it's just a lot of work and so I need to stop being lazy <laughs> that is ultimately it so that's something that I'm going to work on for sure it's just kind of really pushing myself to that point and like if I mess up then I mess up but really just trying to use my ears use my eyes use my senses to help me and just to kind of guide me to that safe point so that I can actually grow and understand and like elevate on a whole nother level. Yeah. <laughs>
banana. Today has actually been like a, a really good day, but sometimes in our sessions, teacher starts talking and then like he keeps talking and talking and talking and usually like I'm right there like at that point and then he keeps talking and it's just like I go mm, all the way back over here and it's like all of this that like I just don't understand <sighs> so yeah I mean just take it all in but there's so much out there to learn and there's so much stuff for me to go back home and practice and figure out so that is what I'm excited about but sometimes in the moment when things are happening I'm just kind of like from one thing to the next but I know that eventually when the time is right I will understand and comprehend all of these complex things as will you <laughs>
at home I drink coffee every single day like that is a part of my morning routine to make coffee and I've not been drinking coffee since I've been here so you know I'm feeling pretty good off of that too just very like neutral like very balanced like we've been eating so good here like I'm so grateful for like the great food that this resort provides for us even like breakfast every morning like I look forward to eating breakfast because like it's just so good and so nourishing for my body speaking of food today in my practice discipline came to me uh, it was during my meditation I was uh, focusing on the mantra Om Sri Maha Lakshmi Namaha and that is the mantra to the goddess Lakshmi the goddess of good fortune and discipline and just wealth health all just basically abundance like she's the goddess of abundance of all, of all good things and so I was uh, chanting that and just through that discipline came to me so today I'm going to be working on just being disciplined and more specifically like when making like food choices because this morning I didn't wake up feeling that great and it's probably because I overeat yesterday so today we're just going to practice discipline and then we can also like carry that over into other things as well like um, in my practice you know just really trying to be alert and aware and as focused as I can possibly be and just trying to be still and not fidget so much so there's many different ways that I can incorporate um, this theme or yeah, this theme of discipline. So we'll see how that goes today. <laughs> Let you guys know more towards the end of the day. And today is Sunday, so that means that in two days, Spike will arrive, and I'm super excited. Yesterday I was a little bummed out about it, and I was like kind of really upset with him, but I let it go, and I love him. Baby, I love you, and yeah, see you in two days. <laughs> Yeah, man, I'm home early tonight because it just literally started raining, like, <laughs> crazy. Like, just so hard at training to, like, where we couldn't even hear. Oh, excuse me. To where, like, we couldn't even hear teacher anymore. So, like, we did, like, a silent flow, which was so awesome and, like, invigorating. I was, like, sweating so much and, like, I just felt so good. And it was just kind of, like, free flow that teacher led. And then after that, we just decided that we were going to call it, you know, like a night with the training and just kind of pick up tomorrow when the rain stops. Other than that, I hope you guys are doing well on the other side of the screen. I hope that you are happy and if not happy, at least content just with where you are and just grateful ultimately just for your life, for having breath in your lungs and being able to watch this video and just also know like if things are bad like they'll always get better and they'll especially get better if you want them to get better and if you have the desire for things to get better that means that you can do some work and change your circumstances and might might be really hard might be really easy might just have to jump over a couple hurdles but like it's possible and that's that's it there's hope <laughs> so I love you guys so much. Thank you again for watching this video if you made it this far with me. I love you, I appreciate you, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>
brand new week third week last week oh my god it's the last week can you believe it's been two weeks already <sighs> time flies bye went to winter village mm -hmm. and she said she said oh she said you're pregnant and i said pregnant i'm not pregnant i'm just gaining weight and she said no i think you're pregnant and she said you should go you should come into the office and when i called for the doctor's appointment they didn't even let me come i didn't i would normally you go in to see the therapist they sent me straight for a, a, um, an ultrasound. And the ultrasound showed me. So I said to the lady, I said, oh, what do you see? And she said, oh, your doctor will have to discuss this with you. And I said, oh, I said, you can't tell me. She says, no, I'm not allowed. And so after she finished the ultrasound, she said, oh, do you want to see what I'm looking at? And when she turned the screen around, I said, an embryo! <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh my God, that's an embryo! <laughs> <laughs> and I was 12 weeks pregnant with you. Oh my God. And, and so I didn't know what to do. I was 37. And I was like, oh God, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what to do. But I knew that it was a miracle. I knew that it was a miracle.